Uh, let's take, for example, a company, UTC, Moon, whoever in the local area. What are the things that you have to teach the students in that first year to make them ready to actually become an employee? Rob, School of Engineering, Skills and Technology event here in Telford at the University of Wolverhampton. Now, what's the event all about? Um, what we're trying to do is get the university, one, more well-known in the public. Uh, it's a fantastic facility, as you'll see from the pictures. Um, but it's quite unknown. It's a little hidden gem in Telford. Uh, so it's reaching out to the, the local community, national community, to come here and see what we've got right on our doorstep, really, in Telford. Now, there's, a, there's, an, a, there's another agenda behind this, if you like, and, and, it, and it's an agenda that is unselfish as well. What is that agenda and what, what, can you tell the people that are watching this video how important students are to you and why you believe that they are our future and what you're doing to support them? Yeah, um, this university, it's, it's got all the facilities you could possibly want. For a large company, you've got the metrology side of it, you've got the machining side of it. And it's, how do you make the most of that? At the moment, the facility has been here two years and it's underused, if anything. Um, so what we're trying to do is get the students, as well as at the side of their degree, it's great leaving with a great piece of paper that says you've got a degree, but what was your practical experience? And to be honest, they're leaving with very little practical experience. So what we're committed to doing is giving them that practical experience. We're creating at the side of their degree um, a course. It's not even a course, it's a club. So we will be bringing them real life applications that we come across in the industry and teaching them, understanding why that cutter cut that material so well. And then maybe we'll even run the product to destruction so they can understand why it failed, when it failed. They've got the facilities to test the product to see the wear patterns, the fracture. They also have like an x-ray machine so they can x-ray the part and we could even improve our product based on what these students tell us. Um, that's all well and good, but what we really want to do is get local engineering involved and help us give them relative practical experience to them. So how many times does a company in this area employ someone with a degree and then the first two years, maybe one year at best, they're teaching them what they need to know? Well, they're here for three years, so you could have been telling us what to teach them for three years. So when they leave, they're actually an employee. This university should be a conveyor belt of employment to the local area. So by, by having an input, it doesn't mean you've got to give us money. There's no money involved. There's very little time involved. All it is is input. Come and see what we're doing. Come and you might, you're going to probably find students that you go, that looks like a, a student for us. And then you tell us what practical experience you want to give them for the next two years. You don't have to employ them there and then. We've got a great partner today, Autodesk. Um, we use Power Mill to do the demonstration today. And it's a brilliant bit of software. But there's a lot of people using it and they've never even used a cutting tool. So they don't understand why something failed. So what we want to do is when they also, now what we can offer the students is they can take that work, they might be doing a course that involves power mill, but now we're going to give them the, the chance to actually run it all and see if it works and work out why it didn't work. Um, rather than letting that happen when they eat a real shop floor, we can do it here and it's, they break my tools. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's going to happen, but that's the investment we're going to make. We have a partnership with the University of Wolverhampton. They've made a big investment in a Herco VM10 and also a VMX42 SRTI. Um, we find university partnerships really important and if we can have an open day with other partners such as Autodesk and Tungaloy, it really supports both us and makes a very interesting day for our customers. Now, why would the students choose this type of machine tool? What, what benefits are they getting from the Herco machine tool? Um, they get a lot of benefits. They can learn CNC programming, they can learn a bit of milling, they can get a good understanding of the different ways you can program a job. What options have you got programming-wise with the Hercos? You can program either conversational, um, you can use a DXF program, 
you can also import solid model now and you can use offline CAD CAM and use the full NC program for complex contours as well. And you can mix the two, you can mix conversational and NC. And, I, I'm, I'm, and, and in your opinion, David, you know, what is the importance of events like this, the collaborative events, especially for the younger generation and the students that are getting into engineering and manufacturing? Yeah, I think it's important for them to see every stage. So they see a little bit of, they realise there's some machining, there's some tooling, there's some programming. Um, and seeing all the companies together, I think it just makes for a much more interesting day. And you can see the whole process of making a part. AC.UK or with a, with a student email address has access to the Autodesk portfolio so that they can we, we need to make sure that the, the engineers of tomorrow are coming out of establishments like the University of Wolverhampton um, you know, with the skills that they can take straight into manufacturers um, and they can hit the ground running. All too often we hear about um, manufacturers needing to take from a, um, a pool of engineers but then they still need to be further trained on technology and processes and the ways that we're doing things. But you know, as we've seen here, you know, there's an amazing facility um, that they're training engineers to, to be able to, to use that technology so that it can be used directly with the manufacturers that they're then employed with. And, and for people that may have watched this interview, you know, how should they find and want to find out more? How should they do this? Well, in the usual way, uh, get online, search for Autodesk Future of British Manufacturing Initiative or FOBMI, F-O-B-M-I, um, in your chosen search engine. Um, and there's plenty of information available on the, um, on the website. It's free for manufacturers to join up. Um, you can take a personalised uh, assessment, which will give you some initial feedback. And then you can engage with the Autodesk team to help you find out more about how Autodesk and our partners can help you. The event has been absolutely excellent on a number of levels. Um, firstly, the, the integration with the staff, with the companies that have been involved has been superb. Um, the use of the equipment and demonstrations that we put on uh, during the day have been very well received. Our students have been involved all the way through um, for the, the various aspects um, from uh, helping to put the, the demonstrations on and also to talking to the companies that have been involved today. Um, so yeah, the, the overall impression from the event has been excellent. Um, we would love to do it again. It just gives a higher profile. The, the profile that we're, we're looking to offer is that the university is, is open to engage with business, to, to work with them on a, on not only on a educational grounds but on a, a research and a commercial footing. Um, the equipment that we have is all commercially biased, it's all industry standard um, equipment so yeah it just gets our name out there to show that you know that we're willing to work with industry for the, for the better good of both our students, the university and the companies involved.